Today I'm going to show you how to make a geometric, repeating, and seamless pattern inside of Photoshop. You may have seen something similar to this created inside of Illustrator. Designs like this are typically made inside of Illustrator, but I want to show you how to make it in Photoshop. So just in case you're like me and you prefer Photoshop and you just want to make the pattern, I'm going to show you how to make this, but we're also going to be adding a pattern and just stylizing it a little bit. I'll show you a couple of different ways to do that. So, by the way, I'm Mercedes from prettywebs.com. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to come up here to file new, and I'm going to start with a 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel document. We're using 72 resolution RGB 8 bit. This is going to be a pattern for the web. If you're making something to print, you'll do 300 resolution. I'm going to go ahead and leave this black background, but you can change that to any color. I'll go ahead and click create. And from here, I'm going to start making the biggest part of this pattern, and that's going to be that bullseye shape. So I'm going to come here to the shape tool. I'm going to click and hold. Usually you're going to see this rectangle tool right here. In order to get to the ellipse, we're going to come here, click, hold, and then choose the ellipse. So you'll see this cross hair right here. I'm just going to click on the screen. I'm not going to drag or do anything. Just click on the screen. Make sure that from center is selected. And I'm going to make an ellipse that is 950 pixels by 950 pixels. And I'll click OK. So right now I have an ellipse that is black, like the background, so you're not able to see it. And I'm going to come here to the stroke. I want to show you how to adjust the pattern, color, or gradient in here inside the stroke itself. So you'll see these options right here. This option right here is no stroke. This is a solid color. So if I click on this and I select a color, this is what we're going to be getting. We're just going to be changing the color right here. We're adding gradients. So just you can use gradients that you already have or you can make your own. And then we have the patterns here. So I'm going to be using this pattern right here, just a gold foil pattern. I do have a video on how to make this gold foil pattern here on my channel. So I'll go ahead and leave a link to that just in case you want to make that. But you can use any pattern that you want. I mean, I can just kind of come through and see what I like. And the reason I'm showing you this is because I'm going to make multiple circles here. So just in case you want to add a texture to each individual circle, this is how you would do that. But I'm going to go ahead and leave just a color. I'm going to use white for this. And then I'm going to come in here and actually change this to 50 points. So it's going to be a thicker circle. But at this point, don't worry about any of the alignment or anything like that. We're going to get to that here in a minute. But I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to make sure that I'm on my layers. I'm selecting the ellipse 1, command the letter J, command J again until we have five ellipses right here. So we have this first one that's 950. You can see that right here. We're going to come here to the second one and we're going to adjust this from 950 to 750. Because I have this lock right here on, it's going to change the width and the height equally. So I'll go ahead and leave that. We're going to come up to the next one. You can use a step and repeat for this. I just don't want to take all the time away from learning how to make this pattern in order to explain step and repeat. So if you know how to do that, this is the perfect time to use it. So I'm on my third here. And we went from 950 to 750. Now we're going to go to 550. So basically we're stepping down this ellipse by increments of 200 pixels. I'm going to come here to the next one. And this one is going to be 350. And then the next one, this is the last one. And this one's going to be 150. Okay. So we have these five ellipses. Now I'm going to go ahead and align them to the screen. So I have this top one selected. I'm going to hold the shift key, grab the bottom one, click on the letter V on my keyboard, or just select the move tool up here and you'll see all of these alignment tools come up. All we're going to do is center it horizontally and center it vertically so that we have that bullseye look. I'm going to bring this onto the screen and just kind of center it there. So since I have all of these selected, I'm going to put them in a group. So command and the letter G or control and the letter G to make a group from all of those circles that we had there. Now I'm going to command and J that's going to copy that entire group. And I'm actually just going to, I'm going to unlock my background and put this underneath the background, turn it off. I'm going to keep an extra here just in case I want to make changes to the pattern colors, you know, do any of that. For now, I'm just going to turn it off and leave it there. 
and I'm going to be working with this top one right here. Now I'm going to go ahead and add the pattern to this. So I'm going to come here to the black and white circle here at the bottom, click on that, and I'm going to choose pattern. And from here, I'm just going to come in here and grab that foil texture. I think I'll bring this up a little bit. So we'll bring that up to 125% and click OK. All right, at this point, it's covering my bullseye here. So what I want to do is apply that or clip that into that group. So what I'm going to do is make sure that I have the pattern fill selected. Hold the Option key and hover between the group and the pattern. And when I see that arrow and the square, just going to click and that's going to clip that pattern into my group. So if I add anything else to this group, it's also going to apply this pattern to that. So at this point, I'm going to turn off the background. At this point, we have this transparent bullseye pattern here. Um, but I don't want it to be transparent here on the inside. On the outside I do, just not right here. So what I'm going to do is just add another circle. I'm going to choose this ellipse, command the letter J, just to copy it. I'm going to take that out of the group. I don't know if I did that. I'll put it over here for now. Let's turn this group off. I'm going to bring that back up here. And for this one, I'm going to press the letter U on the keyboard. Right now it's a stroke, so I don't want the stroke. I'm going to just uh, click no stroke and then I'm going to come here to the fill and I'm going to choose a color so this it can be any color. You can also use patterns here and do all of the stuff. For this one, I'm just going to use this basic pink color and this ellipse goes directly underneath that group. So now we have our base color, we have the group itself, and then we have the pattern. So I'm going to grab all of those, command the letter G to group that. So we have this whole thing right here. This is the first part of this pattern. Okay, so I'm going to just go ahead and merge this command and the letter E that's going to merge that together. Now you can see I have the transparency on the outside, but on the inside I have the color that I want. I'm going to make sure that I'm on that group two layer and then I'm going to command J three times. That's going to copy it three times. So we have four of them at this point. I'm going to grab that first one, hold shift, grab this last one, and we're going to resize these. So I'm going to hit the letter V to come back in here to my move tool. I have them all selected and I'm going to bring them down. So I'm just dragging it down and I'm going to make this about 475 pixels. So for reference, that's 47.52% up here. And I'm going to press enter to accept that. So I have four of these now. They're all a little bit smaller. Okay, so I'm going to grab the first one and I'm still in the move tool, but I don't have my alignment tools available to me. From here, I'm going to press command and the letter A. That's going to select the entire canvas so that I can align these to my canvas. I'm in the move tool right now and I have this first shape selected. This is going to be the top. And this is left, bottom, and right. Okay, so we're going to come up here to the top and align this to the top. So I'm going to do this and then align it to the center. The left one, we're going to align it to the center. It's already right here on the left. The bottom one, we're going to align that to the center. And it's already right here at the bottom. And then this last one, we're going to take it, we're going to align it here. To the center and then to the right. So we have all four of them here. Command the letter D to deselect the canvas and I'm actually just going to bring these in a little bit closer to each other. So I'm just going to nudge it. I'm going to hold the shift key and nudge it once for each one of these. I just want to bring them in closer. The only problem that we have now is that we have one of them that's completely behind everything and we want to make sure that they're overlapping each other. So what I'm going to do is come over here to the right, this one right here that's underneath everything, and I'm going to press Command, and I'm going to click on the little thumbnails. You'll see that little uh, square come up. When you see that, you go ahead and click that. That's going to make a selection of that, and now I'm going to come up here to the top. I'm going to press Shift-Command, the letter I. That's going to invert that selection. 
So you can see that there, how it's selected everything but that circle right there. So I'm going to come here to the top, just click on the mask icon, and that's going to mask out this particular area of that top layer that way they're all overlapping each other grab the top one shift grab the bottom one command the letter g we've made a group out of those from here we can just command the letter e to merge that command the letter j to duplicate it we're going to come here to the bottom group i'm going to come up here to the filters so we'll choose filter other and offset now remember, we have a 1000 pixel by 1000 pixel document. So we're going to split that in two. So horizontal will be 500, vertical will be 500. We're going to choose wrap around and I'm going to click OK. And now I have this black. I don't want it that color. So I'm just going to choose this color option and delete to fill it with that color. So you can either do that or just leave it off. And I'm going to come up here to edit, define pattern and click OK. Okay, so now that we've created it, let's see what this pattern looks like. I'm going to come here to File, New, and instead of the 1000 pixel document, I think I'm going to go for a 4000 pixel document just to show you how this is going to repeat. So I'm going to come here to the layer adjustment, this little black and white circle, click on Pattern, and I'm going to look for that pattern that I just created. So that's, that's our pattern, and from here I'm just going to either scale it up and remember we're on a 4000 pixel document so this is much bigger than the 1000 pixel document that we created this on we can bring it down to create something like this or make it much bigger you know keep bringing it down so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like share and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources and tutorials until next time thanks for watching